So live free in the Lord. Don't carry the sorrow or bitterness of having been slandered and defamed. Love those who did that to you, pray for them, do good, and you will see that you'll be free and God will use you because you won't have that weight on you. You'll be able to bless others even though there are still people out there trying to bring you down and tear you down. And so also I would like to say if, uh, if it's you or you know people, uh, I would say to those who offend that they really take a look at, um, at their hearts and let God examine them. I love that scripture that says, uh, you know, search me, O Lord, and know my heart. Uh, know my, uh, uh, my offensive uh, ways, my, you know, my anger, and also my anxiety. Of course, I'm paraphrasing here. It's in the Psalms, okay? And uh, let God examine you and uh, reveal to you that this is, this is not edifying. This is actually evil. And so confess, repent, and God will forgive you. Those that continue to bear false witness and have a callousness about what they're doing, it's a serious matter. And we're all going to be judged by God on Judgment Day. And that is uh, uh, not a good thing to be before God and uh, have to uh, deal with bearing false witness. Because you'll see as I read the scriptures that uh, it, it is a very serious matter. So, but you can be forgiven. And I, I pray for those that, that, have, that bear false witness, that they, their eyes would be opened and uh, they would move forward and uh, they would bless the Lord instead of do things that divide the body of Christ. And so there's so many people out there doing that today and um, they don't need to be used by the enemy. They should be used by God and turn it around. Let God turn you around. And for those that have been offended, I say, be a blessing. Bear up under all this. Carry your cross. Bless those who persecute you. God bless you.